Holy sh! Hey guys, it's G. And Anthony from The F Word. And we're here to review Veronica. Veronica is a movie on Netflix. It's a foreign movie. It's in Spanish. Spanish, yeah. And it's based on true events. I didn't really search up to see if it was true events, but you know, claims it was, so. Yeah, apparently this was taken from like an actual report a detective had that saw it, the detective on the scene that saw it. Um, again, Netflix has a distribution, not a Netflix original movie. And uh, pretty much a girl is trying to talk to her deceased dad by using a Ouija board. It looks very creepy. Very creepy. And decide, and also, as it's happening, it was during an eclipse. Yes. So this brings in lore with how the eclipse was used for sacrifices. And obviously something really bad happens because it's a Ouija board eclipses. And you know how those things usually go. So, Anthony, favorite parts about this. What did you like about this movie? I liked that, A, it was a horror movie that wasn't entirely very scary. It was more interesting than it was scary. You were actually, like, interested to see how things played out. Good point. The cinematography was really good. The imagery was really good. And there weren't really any jump scares. There were th- times where I was watching and I'd see something in the background. But like, wait a second. Is that, was that, a, was that a person's, like, was that a mm-hmm. figure of a body? Mm-hmm. And it like, would be kind of those, like, scares where you just see it in the corner of your eye and you wouldn't know if you actually saw it or not. Until the actual reveal. Yeah, yeah I'm going to echo a lot of what you said. Um, it was, it was first of all, a good movie. It was well-paced for a slower movie, too, because... Yes, it was. The way they implemented this, the certain things, like you were saying, you saw something out of the corner of your eye. There were a couple of jump scares, but they were done really well uh, in a more realistic way, as opposed to just to scare the crap out of you. And just the buildup of things happening just slowly, and just enough that you're kind of watching, waiting for something else to come up, come out, and really get you and and yeah it wasn't it's not as scary as that one report that you sent me saying like it's oh, the scariest yeah. thing on netflix there are some scary images uh in here and if you're if like possessions and stuff like that freak you out like they do me that's instinctively instinctively going to mess with your head uh but yeah a lot of stuff you said simmons Arby was good veronica the character like you cared for her her brother and two sisters yeah. you cared like you liked them they weren't really annoying kids. her friends her Sucked. friends, yeah, they were jerks. This they is all just life lesson. Make good friends. The build up to everything, and specifically the finale. This is a non spoiler, but just the build up for the finale had so much tension, and I think a lot of that was kind of what we're saying on both ends. Those little bits and pieces that are introducing you to what's going on with her, just great tension overall. One thing I want to note too is this is a movie that I feel like you could watch twice. Just because after you see it watching the first time, you could probably go back and try and see if you can pick up any of the, like, because there's a big reveal in the end or whatever, you know, a big reveal. Yep. And I feel like if you went back and tried watching it, you could actually f- kind of try and pick it up, pick it up and see where it kind of first got mentioned. So, any negatives for you? Maybe the length of it and just because it kind of drew out some parts. Other than that, yep. it was a pretty solid movie. Yeah, I'd probably say the same thing. Uh, even though it did do a good job of keeping pace and keeping tension, it probably could have been a little bit shorter. A lot of the buildup could have been, you know, just in general, the story could have been a little bit tighter. Um, they introduced her mom at one point, who was alive. We just know that her dad is alive. At a weird point, because we're under the impression that her mom is one way when she's actually not. Like, I was in, I, I was thinking that her mom was just a, a drunk and didn't yes, care. Yeah, but then she was just tired from running a bar. The only other thing I'd say is that there is a character in this, kind of a cool character, the nun. She wasn't as important as I thought. She just gave us exposition. She and was, I was kind of expecting something a little bit more because they introduced her in a really cool way. She was that classic old man in the movies that would uh, try and tell you information but it would be very vague. And you're like, well, what the hell are you doing? Just yeah. tell me what you want to tell me. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So, Veronica, would you recommend people see it? You know, honestly, it's in, as I said, Spanish, so I was first like, oh, crap, I'm going to have to read while watching this film. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, honestly, it was decent, like, not decent, it was good, like, I liked it, I found it easy to follow. I'd say you should check it out, even if you don't like horror movies, if you just like good movies, and like good, mm-hmm. if you like movies like Death Note, or like shows like Death Note, not the movie, the movie sucked ass, the show Death Note. Watch this because it's like the same kind of tone. I would definitely say take a look at this, if, especially if you're into horror, especially if you like foreign shows because this is really well done. A lot of good characters. Um, it's also set in 91, so it was that crossover where like 80s met 90s music, so the score I like. We didn't mention in the good stuff. Oh, but the I kid did. looks like Dustin as well. So Yeah, the one and or a cross between Dustin from Stranger Things and also... That kid uh, from Home Alone. The yeah, glasses. the big ass glasses. I will give Veronica four Fs out of five. I stopped rating things a while ago, so I'm just going to say definitely go check this one out.
So that's our review, non-spoiler, of Veronica. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen it. Um, if you're planning on seeing it, come back right after and let us know either way. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you guys do have any other foreign horror movies, because uh, some guy DM'd me and was talking about these like first-person horror films, mm -hmm. which I found really interesting, uh, just let us know. Give some suggestions. You can follow me on Twitter at the F words G. You can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com and make sure you're following Entertain Facts for daily content all the time as well as getting in on our live show that happens every friday night ish uh depending depends on what time yeah it depends where you live so until next time i'm g i'm anthony and we're out